Hi, this video will show you how to use ScanFox version 1.0, made specifically for use with your MakerBot. To learn more about MakerBot, visit MakerBot.com. Before you install ScanFox, first be sure you have the latest version of the command line utility Git already installed. Git does all the heavy lifting for us to manage all the various templates and changes we will make. In ScanFox, the goal is to make ScanForge easier to use. Use ScanFox to convert a 3D data file into 3D printing instructions your MakerBot can understand. Once you have Git installed and have chosen the STL file you will convert, launch ScanFox. The first step is to choose a settings template. You can open the console to see more of what ScanFox is doing behind the scenes. You can click around or use the arrow keys. And note that anytime you change your selection, things are happening in the background to be ready to process your file immediately. Once your template is selected, drag and drop an STL file onto the window. Most STL files from Thingiverse will work fine, especially if you see that other people have already printed them with a MakerBot. Now that our file is selected, click Create G-Code to begin to convert the STL file into a G-Code file using the settings template you have selected. Advanced users will notice that ScanFox calls ScanForge through Python in the background, so you may notice a new Python process in the Mac Activity Monitor. If you use one of the default templates, the ScanView window will open by default when processing is done. This window allows you to inspect the new G-code file. And once you've browsed the layers of this file, be sure to click the exit button. The new G-code file will appear in the same directory as the original STL file. You want to rename this G-code file if you want to make alternate versions. To make a different version, just select a different template and cre create a new G-code. Here we're making an alternate version without a raft. You can actually print objects with your MakerBot without a raft if you print directly onto double-sided tape. More advanced users will want to create their own templates. You can duplicate the current template by pressing the plus button in the main window or delete a template with the minus button. There are corresponding menu commands and keyboard shortcuts available in the template menu. If you want to rename templates, simply click their name or press the enter key. To modify the actual SkyForge settings stored in each template, Select Modify in Sky and Forge. This will launch the Sky and Forge configuration utility, and you can make all the changes you need. After you make these changes and close the preference windows, click Save Changes. The new settings will be added to the template, and the modification date will be updated. You can also sort the columns to make it easier to find the template you want. 